Adventures of Sam and Ka. Welcome. You're listening to The Adventures of Sam and Ka. This episode is entitled Spring Has Sprung. Park Benjamin was a muddy mess. The critters that lived there were growing weary of the endless rain and slushy snow. It had been a long winter. There was hope that warmer weather was coming soon, but many were beginning to wonder if winter might simply be here to stay. Last week, my tail was nearly frozen, and today it's soggy. I've just about had it with winter. Ka! Ka! And I thought I was the cranky one, Sam. Oh, I don't mean to complain, Ka. I guess I am a little cranky and hungry. All my nuts have turned soggy. Nut soup! Ka! Ka! Nut soup! Very funny, Ka. Hey, look! Here come Miles the Hound and Kitty Cat. And then she had the nerve to buy me bargain litter. Can you imagine that, Miles? Miles, are you listening to me? Oh, sorry, Kitty Cat. Um, yeah, bargain litter. <laughs> Why, that sounds downright criminal. <laughs> hmm. Um, well... Hey, look at there, Kitty. It's Sam and Carl. It feels like ages since we've seen you two. Hi, Miles. Hi, Kitty. Ka! Ka! And just in time for Oaky Owl's big announcement. Oaky Owl? Big announcement? Ha! Huh. I think I'd rather take a bath. Now, now, Kitty Cat. Oh, join us, Kitty and Miles. Oaky Owl knows a great deal about, well, just about everything. And he rarely makes a daytime appearance. Maybe he'll share some wisdom about the weather we're having. Well, I'll tell you. I could show you some wisdom. Come on, Kitty. Let's go get wise. Hmm. I suppose I could tag along. Ka! Ka! See you all at the old oak tree! Oaky Owl was highly respected by all the critters of Park Benjamin. A scholar possessing great wisdom, Oaky Owl made a rare daytime appearance to help boost the morale of the critters of Park Benjamin. There will be rain 
smoky owl had indeed given an accurate weather forecast. The next several days were rainy, but then something amazing happened. The rain stopped. The sun warmed the park. The once soggy grass was now dry. The leaves burst out from the trees. Under one such tree, on this warm spring day, was none other than Miles the Hound. Samantha Squirrel was playing a game she invented called Flip the Nut when she was interrupted by another squirrel around her age whom she'd never met before. What you doing? Oh, hi, I'm playing Flip the Nut. Wanna play? Sure. And just like that, the two young squirrels were playing together, running across the grass in a frenzied chase up and down trees, over sidewalks, zigzagging like the wind, and even walking on wires with more grace and skill than the world's best tightrope walkers. Samantha Squirrel was so caught up in the play that after a while, she had to pause. Hey, what's your name? Parker, what's yours? I'm Samantha, but you can call me Sam. Well, follow me, Sam. I know where there's a huge stash of tasty nuts. Sam followed Parker further and further away from Park Benjamin, scampering down sidewalks, over fence tops, through alleyways, across bridges, and finally to a small island meadow with grass and very large trees. Woo! Where are we, Parker? Some call it the crossroads. I call it Parker's place because I come here so often. It's so fun here. I've never seen trees so tall. They sure are. Race you to the top. I'm feeling so light today. Hopping around like a kangaroo. A feeling I can't explain. So lucky to have a friend as good as you. I'm walking. I'm walking on it. Flowers are blooming now My senses are catching all the vibes There's some kind of music playing The likes of which I can hardly describe I'm walking, walking, walking. 
coming now My senses are catching all the vibes There's some kind of music playing The likes of which I can hardly describe After a long day of playing together, Sam returned to Park Benjamin, but only by following the streetwise Parker through a mysterious labyrinth of shady pathways. High up in a tree, Oki Owl awoke from a twilight nap to overhear the two friends saying goodnight. He made a mental note to have a little chat with Ka the next day. Meanwhile, nighttime came to Park Benjamin. All the critters were nestled down for their sleep time. All, that is, except for Kitty Cat and Miles the Hound, who were enjoying an evening walk together. Aw, oh, Kitty, it sure is nice to walk with you on such a fine night. Hmm, well, Miles, I, I appreciate your company. Sometimes the nights can get lonely. It's so quiet and peaceful-like. And the smells are... Dance with me now, Miles. Uh, what's that, Katie? I'm... I'm simply in the mood for a dance. Now follow my lead. But, Kitty, I don't hear any... Music. Five, six, seven, eight. When I see the moon at night, I'm captured by a spell. come true and my heart leaps for you without warning when I see the stars at night I fall into a dream of lovely delights and you holding me tight until morning when you go away I'm lonely each day Kitty, 
that was uh, quite something. I must be going now. By now, my family's probably noticed the gate was open and old Miles went a wandering. <laughs> I, I think I hear him calling. Hmm. Good night to you, Miles. Perhaps I'll see you tomorrow sometime between naps. Good night, Kitty Cat. Morning came to Park Benjamin. All was peaceful, or so it seemed. Carl was in a bit of a mood, even for him. He hadn't seen Sam in days and was flying around the park trying to find her. Ka! Ka! Sam! Where are you? Are you hiding? I found a bunch of nuts that you might want! Who? Who? Ka? Oh my, what good fortune. You're just the bird I've been looking for. I've been meaning to tell you about this new friend of Sam's, Parker. Seems they've been off playing together. Ka! Ka! Okie! You mean you've seen Sam? Why, yes indeed. I saw her and Parker returning from their adventures just yesterday at dusk. Ha! Adventures? What adventures? I didn't see them playing anywhere in Park Benjamin. I believe they may have ventured beyond our fair park, exploring and whatnot. Hey there, bird friends. Have either of you seen Sam? I'm wondering if she would like to play. Ha! Ha! Okay. I think we have a situation here! Indubitably. What's all the fuss? Ha! Sam may have left the park looking for you! Oh. But we're afraid she might have gotten lost! Oh, no. And worse! Ah, I can barely say it! Now, now, my feathered friend. All is not lost. She is probably just fine. I'm worried she'll try to make it to the... the the cross? The crossroads? At this hour? When all the iron horses are speeding past? Yes, yes, dear Parker. Samantha Squirrel is not yet experienced in the ways of those rubber-footed beasts. We must set out to find her at once! And so, with a sense of urgency, they joined on a quest to find Samantha Squirrel. What the critters referred to as iron horses were more commonly called cars, or automobiles, or trucks. These iron horses were part of city life, but presented a considerable danger to all types of critters, particularly those who had not yet learned how to avoid their cruel tires. And if Sam had attempted to visit her friend Parker, then she might be in danger since this was the time of day when the iron horses were running fast and in great numbers. Sure enough, our dear Samantha Squirrel was in great danger. She had gotten lost on her way to Parker's place and found herself unable to cross the concrete trail due to the speeding herd of stampeding iron horses. <laughs> Fading to reality's blues 
Here at the precipice on the edge of fate Where the high wire act ensues Don't wanna be like an upward flower blown dry Petals lost to the wind Come and see Thank you, Carr. You're a good friend. Carr! That's what friends are for! Say, Carr, has anyone ever told you what a nice singing voice you have? Carr! Carr! I'm a bird of many feathers! Samantha Squirrel returned to Park Benjamin, safe and sound, slightly humbled, but a bit wiser. She would soon be back to playing with her new friend, Parker, though always within the familiar grounds of Park Benjamin, which had all they needed, and more, for fun and adventure.
some time like a star born to be loved born to be nurtured born to be who you This episode, Spring Has Sprung. Wherever you travel, wherever you explore, be on the lookout for Sam and Ka and all their friends.